Hey guys, this is Cal, and um, I'm from Sealer FX, and let's talk about the computer software app that you can use to control the Quartz uh, timer pedal, uh, the V2, not the V1. The V1 will not connect to the app. Okay, the first thing to talk about is um, the Chrome app, which is what the app used to be, and you used to have to download the Chrome web browser to run it. Um, it worked really well, uh, except Google decided to stop supporting them, so we have been sort of forced to um, write them all again. Um, so now there's a dedicated Mac app and there's a dedicated Windows app, which we'll be updating as we go. So the first thing to do is head over to our website. And there it is. So this is the Quartz page. Uh, you can download the app from here. Or you can go to the support um, page and go to Quartz Timer V2. Um, I, I'll show you here as well. There's, um, we've, we're updating the pedal all the time. So check out what features we've added on this page. Um, also the legacy firmware releases. We'll talk about all the old, um, all the old updates as well. Basically the legacy is talking about the Chrome app. So all of this firmware is compatible with the Chrome app. Anything past this, um, you will use the new app for. So download um, Windows or Mac from here, and the Windows one is a MSI installer, so you can just so you can just install that like any other app, and then you can uninstall it um, from the built-in Windows um, app directory. With um, the Mac, you just um, can run it from the .app file, and you can put that wherever you like, and then you can pin it to the dock and run it from there. So I've already got it, so here's what it looks like. I'll just open it up. There we go. Now, the Mac app will look quite different to this. You can edit all the same data in both, but there's just the way that you edit them is slightly different. So we'll most likely do some Mac app uh, videos as well. This is what the old app looked like. This is the Chrome app, so it's a bit different, um, but there are similarities. We've got um, the songs, we've got the set lists, we've got foot switches, we've got the global settings. So foot switches is, has now been broken up into three pages. Um, before it was just one, and that's because there's a lot of extra features that have been added. And custom MIDI is basically MIDI management. So these tabs are basically these tabs. Um, and the resetting the, the stuff up the top here can also be reset at the top here. So you notice a lot of similarities. It just looks different. And a lot of the um, features that were global in this old firmware is now um, editable per preset. So that opens up a lot of um, possibilities with the quartz. So let's go to talk about this. So um, when you hover... Um, different buttons and things, you'll notice that there's pop-ups and these will explain to you what they all are and it, hopefully it's um, clear enough. And if these videos aren't clear enough, just give us a um, an email. But I do suggest that you watch all of the videos if um, because there are little bits and pieces here and there that you will find useful and will have most likely already answered your question. So we'll talk about these buttons at the top first. Um, in the old app, you had to um, first you had to plug the pedal in, and then you had to open the app. In this in these new apps, you have to open the app first, and then plug the pedal in. And once you have done that, you can press this connect to pedal button. I haven't got any pedal plugged in at the moment, so that's not going to work. And then once you're connected, it actually um, is different to the old app as well in that it's kind of a live connection. You sort of had to load all the data from the pedal, edit the data and send it back to the pedal. And then you had to exit the app and then you had to get the app open again if you wanted to make any more changes. Now this is kind of a live connection where uh, you can actually give the pedal commands from the app um, to test a few different features and preview things before you send it all to the pedal. You can send the data to the pedal and then you can keep editing in the app without having to get out of the app and get back into it. 
So it's kind of an ongoing connection. So when you press this button, you'll see on the pedal that it says connected via USB and then the connected via USB will disappear and it'll just be running in live mode on the pedal. Reset session. I suppose I should talk about what a session is first. A session holds all of the data that's in the app. We suggest that you actually load a session every time um, you want to edit on your pedal. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it's just the best way to do it. So when you open the app, load a session, connect to the pedal, and then send the data to the pedal or load from the pedal and edit the data. That way you know that your session's all linked up um, and all good. But otherwise you can just open the app and load all of the data from the pedal each time. So like I said, a session holds all of the information. You can save the session as a text file and um, share it with your friends, do backups. A session could be a set list, um, change, it, it could be anything. You could play in a few different bands and one set list could be for one band and, I mean, sorry, one session could be for one band and another for another because with different bands, you'll obviously have a completely different list of songs. So sessions are very handy. And also if you have any questions about um, what to, how to do something in the app, you can always send us your session file and we can edit it and send it back to you with the changes that you need. Um, obviously that takes time, so it's better if you do it yourself, but we can help you out if you are stuck. So um, this is how you, you reset the session here and that will reset the app back to factory settings, not the pedal, the pedal won't be affected. Opening a session opens a session from your computer and resets uh, and sets all of the data that's in the app to the session data. Once again, your pedal won't be affected at all by doing that. Saving a session is saving the app data to your computer. Once again, your pedal won't be affected by that. But if you, so if you connect to the pedal and you load all the data in and then you save the session, you're basically saving the data off your pedal onto your computer. Factory reset will affect your pedal and that will reset your pedal back to factory settings and the app won't be affected. So firmware is something else that's changed between the old app and the new app. Um, firmware, if, if you don't know, it is the software that's running on the pedal itself. So whenever we release new features on the pedal, we will upload new firmware and that way it will affect your pedal. So it'll change everything on the pedal, like your menu system, it can change anything. So the old way of doing it with the old Chrome app was we, um, there was no way to upload the firmware from the app. You had to download another file and then run that file. Now it's bundled within the app. And you notice up here it says Quartz 1.1.5 uh, and that means that this app requires your Quartz to be on firmware 1.1.5. And to tell what firmware your Quartz is running on, um, when you turn the pedal on for the first time, um, it will display a screen that says Quartz and underneath that it'll it'll give you a number and that's the firmware that's on the actual pedal. This is the app version um, that is the app and it has to match the, the pedal firmware. So make sure if that number does not match your pedal, press that button there after you've connected. And that will run a little script and upload the firmware. So another concept to get your head around is the idea of pages. This is the songs page. This is the set list page global settings page, MIDI management page, foot switch MIDI page, foot switch presets page, and foot switch functions page. In this new app, you don't have to load all of the data from your pedal or send all of the data to your pedal. And that's where these come in. So if I was to check this box here and I was to press load, that would only load the songs page. If I was to check this and then press load, it would load the songs page and the set list page, so on and so forth. Um, same with the send button. So if I just check this global settings page and I press this send button, I would only send the global settings page to the pedal. So everything that's here will be sent to the pedal. The same, um, the other way to send pages is going to the actual page and then pressing the send button and that will send 
the um, just this page and so on and so forth, just this page. So doing this and pressing send is exactly the same as pressing this button. Now we did that because um, it's a lot quicker to send just um, bits of data and if you're not using all of the features um, that are on the courts and you only want to update your set list, then it's a lot quicker to just send the set list to the pedal and load the set list from the pedal and you don't have to worry about anything else being altered on the pedal. So that's just something to keep in mind. By default, these three are checked when you open the app and that's because these are the three most common pages. These other four pages here are for more advanced uh, users, I guess. Um, each page will have some way of resetting data as well. This page has lots of buttons to reset the data. This page, you just reset the whole page. And same with uh, this one and, and there's a few other ones that do it too. So that's basically the um, overview of the app. We'll be going into each section in different videos soon as well. But just make sure that that number up there matches the one that's on your quartz when you turn it on. And if it doesn't match, press that button there.